Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with, with a reading. Sagittarius, this is going to be behind the scenes on your person, alright? So we are uh, going deep one more time. Uh, maybe that's not a good word, but uh, we're, we're going above and beyond to find out what your person is up to, alright Sagittarius? So let's get a couple oracle cards for Sagittarius and their person, and let's use this deck over here. Uh, I feel like you can't have enough oracle decks. That's kind of how I feel about the situation. <laughs> so let's see <clears throat> for Sagittarius's person. Yeah. Get a couple cards from this deck. Show me the energy for Sagittarius's person. Yeah. And please don't live or die by the readings, you guys. These are general readings. It's, it's not your reading, uh, and, you know, because <clears throat> you don't like it or it sounds sad or something like that. Then it's not your read, guys. That's it, right? Yeah. So, in that case, you know, you should always get your own reading. Yeah, don't live or die by a general reading. It could be uh, a reading for somebody in Peru, and you, you know, somebody else is reading, right? Yeah. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius's person. For Sagittarius's person. And Chaos and Conflict, they're in Chaos and Conflict, Sagittarius, yes. And they have to be fair. So to be, to be fair kind of means like to kind of face things, like to face, like to face the truth kind of, or to face if something is like not working. Yeah. And it can be sometimes be fair to somebody else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see what that's about. Chaos and conflict and to be fair, maybe they are being fair to somebody. Maybe it's you. Let's find out here, but it's usually kind of facing the truth. Yeah, in order to be fair about a situation, right? Like, don't live in just seeing things the way they are and kind of accepting them. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius's person. Show me the energy for Sagittarius's person. And we have the yoke. Feeling tied down or frustrated. Okay, your person is completely, we know, absolutely frustrated here uh, with the chaos and conflict card. They feel tied down. Maybe they are... <coughs> You know, maybe they are in a union and they feel tied down. Maybe they're feeling tied down by another situation. Maybe at their job, fr frustrated. But uh, to be fair, I feel like your person, maybe they uh, are looking at the situation now. Or maybe they, you know, we're going to find out what that to be fair is about, right? Because it's a little bit vague. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius uh, and their person. And let's use this deck here. Show me the energy, not and you're, not you, but this is really their read, okay? It still could be switched back and forth. Show me Sagittarius' person's energy. They have the Hermit. They maybe could be a Virgo, definitely, but they are. I feel like they are going within, too, because they feel uh, they're in chaos and conflict. This could be, like, in their physical environment, but it could be, like, in their soul or, you know, within, right? Yeah, their own internal situation, the Four of Swords. The root for them is the Ten of Pentacles. In the past, they have the Ace of Swords. What's on their mind is the World card. Mm -hmm. In the near future, they have the Two of Pentacles. Their concern is the Eight of Swords, and in their environment is the Seven of Wands. So your person's uh, cards here, Sagittarius, are completely aligned with their Tarot cards, with their uh, Oracle cards, right? They have the Seven of Wands and the Eight of Swords. <laughs> It's exactly that. Yeah, overwhelmed in chaos and conflict, uh, fear, I don't know what to do, frustration. Yeah, the Eight of Swords is frustration. Yes, it is. Like, how do I release myself from this? I don't want to keep feeling this. So let's see why. I feel like your person is in complete hermit mode with, with regards to a decision. I feel like they are. They have the hermit and... You know, below is the Two of Pentacles. Which is, you know, uh, of two minds some, sometimes. Or going back and forth about something. Which is the same thing as two minds. Yeah, it is. So let's look at the Hermit card and see why they're in that energy, please. For Sagittarius' person, the King of Wands reversed. For me, that's you. Showing up reversed. The magician, they could be soul-searching about a manifestation. 
with you. Why do they have the magician? I feel like they are because they have the four of swords here. And this is reflection. It can be about healing a situation with you, three of swords, OMG. Mm -hmm. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Your person for me is soul searching here about a new beginning with you. The Four of Swords is crossing them. Let's see if this is a healing or... Let's see. Why is the Four of Swords there? I feel it could be recovering a situation with you. Ace of Cups reversed. Look at that. Your person, I feel like, wants this a new beginning with you, but these cards are reversed because they're frustrated. Because I feel like they're tied down to another situation. God, maybe with the Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Maybe they are. The Queen of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles is in a block for them. The Seven of Cups. And the Three of Wands. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Your person, either they're making a really hard choice or they are attempting to. Wow, this person, if this is the same person for some of you guys, they, you know, their whole life, they're, all they do is overthink, you know. Uh, there's a fa famous, uh, like a guru, his name is Sadhu Guru. I don't know if I'm uh, pronouncing his name right. He's an Indian man. And uh, he says, overthinking is unhappiness, for sure, right? Yeah. Ace of Swords in the recent past for your person, Sagittarius. Five of Swords, Five of Cups, OMG. Your person, to me, looks like in the past they had clarity, they wanted to sabotage their union. I feel like it is. Because the Three of Swords is here, you guys, this is about, or or they felt defeated, maybe. Or, or not maybe. Or they felt defeated. We know they feel defeated. Frustration, chaos and conflict. Or they felt defeated about a sad ending. Or about regret. Could be about, they could have left you in the past. And maybe the Three of Swords is heartbreak here for some. It's not everybody's in a third party. But the Three of Swords is also heartbreak. Yeah, so maybe it is just heartbreak. Your person is frustrated and they feel tied down because they're with somebody else. I feel like that's what it is for many of you. And over here on this card, they have the donkey here. He's really a donkey. But instead, he, his, uh, his fur, I'm not sure if it's called fur on a donkey, right? I mean, but it could be, but I don't think it is. But long story short, the hair that he has, okay, or the fur, whatever it is, he, it is uh, that of a giraffe. So this person is in complete chaos and conflict, and they are not living the life they want. When you see the zebra looking like... Uh, a giraffe. Yeah, really interesting here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let's see what's on their mind. The world card. See, for me, it's an ending and new beginning. And this is why I feel like your person could be in union with somebody, especially with the Three of Swords here. What's on their mind is the World card, the Ten of Cups, the Six of Pentacles. I feel like your person wants an ending with somebody they feel tied down with, and they want to be with you. I feel like that's it. Five of Pentacles, yeah, to leave somebody out. It could even be a family dynamic to be with you. And maybe this is why your person is still thinking about the situation. It's not easy to walk away from a family. No, it's not. Not if you have a heart, right? Yeah, like that song, Have a Heart. <laughs> Uh, too early to sing. Seven of Cups, they're making a hard decision. I feel like it is. Yeah. This is not just wishful thinking about you. This is a really hard decision. That's why the Seven, that's why the seven of Cups is in the root. Yeah. In the near future, Sagittarius, the Two of Pentacles. And the Ten of Wands.
They're carrying a burden here. They're still of two minds. But this near future, Sagittarius, is like today. Or whenever this resonates with you. Because these placements here are like, they're not, they're not precise at all in terms of timing. This is the recent past. This is, this is the near future. This is all the same. I feel like it is. Maybe it was in the recent past. I feel like they gained some major clarity here. Mm -hmm. But they're carrying a burden. I feel like they're carrying it right now and maybe in the near future. But I feel like it's now. And it's about, they're carrying a burden about uh, two minds about having change. The Eight of Swords is their concern with the Two of Cups. Because you are the Two of Cups. Yeah, Sagittarius. Yeah. They even like you, even though you were in this hairnet over here, all right? Like you work at the cafeteria. <laughs> OMG, all right. Yeah, okay, so, you know. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Sometimes hair nuts look good on people. Not the one I'm thinking of. All right. <laughs> so in their, in their concerns, the Eight of Swords and the Two of Cups. This is frustration, fear, feeling restricted. That's what your, your person feels, completely restricted and tied down. And they want to rid themselves. Let me diss this energy. Why do they have the Two of Cups? Nine of Pentacles. This is in their concern. To be single and to have the Two of Cups with you. So your person, yeah, wow. And this reading is all about them making a decision to do it. They feel really stuck and tied down. They're in chaos and conflict. Yeah, they are. And to be fair, you know what this card to be fair means? Like, I feel like it also means to be fair to the person you're with. I feel like they're with somebody here that they are, like, not really being fair to because you are the person they want to be with. So that means the person they're with, they're wearing, a, they're wearing two faces, right? They're acting like they're happy or maybe they're not even acting happy. But whatever's going on, the dynamic in that household or that union is not good. Because the other person must know, a, every, a woman especially, but... Everybody knows sometimes, well, I don't feel like my person is, like, they're not paying a lot of attention to me. Uh, you know, I feel like something's wrong. So to be fair, I feel like maybe they are, you know, to be fair, they need to be fair with this other person. Because they're not really in love with this other person anymore. No, they are not. They're in love with you, Sagittarius, but they have to walk away from a family dynamic for some. So they need to be fair, right? This is what we say. We say that, you know, come on, be honest and be fair to the person. Why should you keep being staying with somebody here that you are not really in love with? You're cheating them out of finding somebody that is their true soulmate. Yeah, don't be a selfish, you know what? <laughs> Seven of Wands, you guys. It is. It's really looked at as being selfish. It's kind of like keeping somebody alive who's really, really suffering. Why should you keep them alive when they're gasping for air and they can't really enjoy their life? OMG, guys. Seven of Wands is kind of a bad analogy, but I feel like you guys get the gist, though, for sure. Seven of Wands is in the envir environment for them. They're super overwhelmed about a rebirth with you, the King of Cups, because they are the King of Cups or because of the King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. We're going to find out what your person really wants and uh, <coughs> how they feel about you and what they feel is blocking them, yeah, and what they are hiding and the future for you. <coughs> your person. They're all super affordable, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Yeah, I would really appreciate it.